Hey everyone, welcome to DK TV. I'm Wade McWayne, your DK Sports Ambassador. Hey, CFL, week seven. I know you're thinking, Wade, where are you week six? Where were you? I was in Canada. In fact, I just flew in, like right now. Jet lag, jet lag. Anyway, we're gonna do picks, CFL. Uh, CFL's crazy, did you see the game last week? Toronto, Ottawa, Toronto uh, beats Ottawa, crazy. And uh, I was thinking uh, Saskatchewan was gonna do something. They just got beat out. Oh my gosh, that was embarrassing. Is Saskatchewan gonna turn their team around? Is Calgary gonna continue to roll? Toronto's four and two, what's going on there? So I know what you're thinking, hey guys, hey, what's going on with your picks this week? Got four big games, Hamilton, Winnipeg, BC, Montreal, Saskatchewan, Calgary, and Edmonton, Ottawa. So where are the value picks? DraftKings, huh? Where are you putting your men? Where are you choosing your $50,000 budget? I'm telling you my picks, because they're awesome. Awesome. Let's go first, my quarterback. Oh, uh, come on, you got to go with this name, Bo Levi Mitchell, 10,300, Calgary. Why are you choosing Wade? You say, why are you choosing the, BL, the BLM? Because uh, he's playing Saskatchewan, and Saskatchewan is really struggling. Last week, he threw, uh, he went to, down 34 to 19. He ends up throwing three touchdowns to come from behind. He's either like the Tom Brady of the CFL. I don't know, he doesn't really look like it. More like a ginger Tom Brady. Uh, but let's think of it this way, 29 for 44, 364 yards, three touchdowns. This guy is setting a pace. I like pacing. This is my guy, Bo Levi Mitchell. He's my quarterback, 10,300. Running back, who are you going to talk about? Jerome Sam for Calgary. Why? Also, he's also playing Saskatchewan. Uh, here's a guy that can run and catch it. He ran six times for 45 yards, caught six for 44 yards. Look, it's not huge numbers, but the guy's catching and running it, and those are DraftKings points. I think playing against Saskatchewan, he's gonna take it up a notch, he's gonna score a lot of points, I like him. My wide receiver, this guy, Brad Sinopoli. Look, he didn't have a big week last week, only 69 yards, but look at the week before, week five, where I chose him, and I told you to choose him, and I hope you did, because he had a 156 yard day, what? That is crazy, rack that up. Look, a lot of people are gonna be looking to go towards Chris Williams, uh, Henry Burris is coming back, but Brad Sinopoli, he is your big guy to go. He is, they're going to be double coverage in Chris Williams. Look for, for Brad Sinopoli in this. I like him at 7,800. Yeah, I think he's about right in terms of value. Okay, next wide receiver. He's the Fantuz. That's right, Andy Fantuz went to Western, just like me. Just like me, and, and both just like me were not really using our degree. Although he's using his, his physical skills and I'm not really using anything. Andy Fantuz, Hamilton, 7,300. Um, 80 yards, two touchdowns, and win over Edmonton. He's the big man. He's had 29 catches in five games. He only had 42 last year, which means he's on touch and on top to beat that record this year. Uh, just like Denzel Washington, he's a man on fire. Unlike Denzel Washington, he hasn't died in the end to Mexican gangsters. Next one, my flex position, Nick Lewis, Montreal, 6,100 value play. That's what I call him, value play. Um, he scored uh, against a, a, an easy sort of team last week uh, and allowed 44 points. He's 34 years old, eight passes for 67 yards last week. I think he's going to get eight catches this game. He's one of those guys who's going to get eight catches every game. Um, he's one of those veterans who will, will always be there, one of the guys you go to. I like that the way they're playing. They're playing BC this week, and BC like just let it all happen. They let Calgary score all over them. Their defense is kind of sloppy, and I really think Nick Lewis can take advantage of it. 6,100, value play. Okay, my last flex position. You sort of look at it and go, hey, I chose my D, and I went with all the money I had left. That's right, from BC. It's uh, Sean Gore, 6,200. Now, look, he had three passes for 54 yards and a touchdown. Hey, touchdowns count in DraftKings. He's one of those great downfield receivers. He's really fast. And I think that the way that Montreal and, and, and that they've got the defense, I think they're going to throw a lot of fast passes. He's one of those guys who, like young MC, can bust a move. He's averaging 15.8 yards per, per catch. I mean, this guy's a guy, once he gets the ball, he's gone. And, of course, my de de defense. Who do you choose in defense? Uh, the team that's playing Saskatchewan, and that's Calgary. Uh, the most expensive, 5,200, but they're playing Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan only was able to get three points against Montreal last week. So I think they're going to have a lot harder team because Calgary is playing really good football. Uh, despite all the rain they've been having there in Calgary, hopefully they so soak that up a bit. All right, let's take a look at my picks. Run them down, run them down. All right, Bo Levi Mitchell, 10,300 for Calgary. He's my quarterback. Jerome Massam from Calgary at 77,000. Then Brad Sinopoli from Ottawa. 
Uh, Andy Fantuz, the Fantuzer. No one calls him that. I just started it. Maybe it catches on. 7,300. Nick Lewis from Montreal, 6,100. Sean Gore. And then Calgary, 5,200. How do you get involved? Go to DraftKings. Oh, my gosh. It's the most fun to enjoy the CFL. I know you're chomping the bit going, hey, I want the NFL. Try the CFL first. Get a handle of the game. Get to play. And there's lots of money and prizes if you won. Huh? CFL, an amazing Canadian game. CFL and DraftKings, welcome to the big time.